Okay, so that's our entertainment sorted. But digital technology has got much more serious applications too, like helping in the fight against crime. Despite advances like DNA testing, the main forensic evidence to convict criminals is still the good old fingerprint. The methods of taking and saving fingerprints haven't changed much over the years, but in the search for the telltale digit, one police force thinks there may now be a digital solution. Nick Baker investigates. Esther Neat is an expert in finding what are called latent fingerprints, the telltale marks that can't be detected at the scene of a crime. A variety of chemical processes are used to reveal fingerprints that aren't visible to the naked eye. For example, a print treated with yellow dye is revealed by fluorescent light. Once a fingerprint is found, it's vital to make a photographic record of the evidence before the original print deteriorates. So how long would this process take from having your evidence to the final picture of it? If you're looking at something like this, at least 24 hours to actually have a photographic print in your hand. Well, why does it take so long? Well, it's black and white film, so it has to be processed by hand through traditional photographic methods. You can't just put the film in one end and hope it comes out the other end right. looking like so a nice Right, so it's chemical photograph. bars and yes. all, all the rest of it, not on top of all the processing time of the actual fingerprint. Esther's frustration at the conventional forensic methods led her to develop a new technological solution to finding and recording fingerprints. This is the first completely digital fingerprinting lab in Britain. Now, basically what it does is replace all that cumbersome film equipment and developing rooms with this high-resolution digital camera and a computer. Now, it's quick, but what's really neat about this new technology is it offers entirely new ways of putting the finger on criminals. Can this new digital technology help with a fingerprint found on the matchbox from the stolen car? This is what we do. We take our light source, which in this instance goes up here like so. Right. And we look through the lens until we can see our mark. You press the keys on the keyboard and 30 seconds later you've got a fingerprint. The digital photograph of the fingerprint from the matchbox is sent to the experts for analysis in the hope that a suspect can be identified. A usable print has been delivered to them in seconds, not hours or even days. And this technology isn't just fast, it can go far beyond the limitations of conventional forensic photography. In another case, a fingerprint found on a banknote was photographed using the traditional method. Although a good print was visible, it was obscured by the faint lines on the original note. Any lines running through a fingerprint can limit the ability of the experts to make an identification. Because of this, an important piece of evidence in a forgery case was lost. With the new digital system, any background lines can be removed. This allows the fingerprint experts to make a clear identification. Digital technology can do this because when we view an image, it's made up of different wavelengths of light. If the light is broken down into these separate frequencies, the image can be viewed in a different way. The computer can separate these different wavelengths and remove unwanted parts of the image. This technology can also photograph a fingerprint on angled or round surfaces, which is very difficult using conventional film. The print on the left, taken with one exposure, is out of focus, but the same fingerprint on the right is a composite image of four different exposures, giving a much sharper image. The enhanced fingerprint image found on the matchbox is now helping the police to track down the criminals involved. When the um, fingerprint comes out from Esther, what we're looking for are these black lines and characteristics. It's where these characteristics end and where they fork into two. I've previously seen the mark before Esther has enhanced it. There are a lot of characteristics that were in the murky area which she's been able to bring out, thus increasing the number of characteristics, which means more identifications for us. So you're dead pleased with this new system? Yes, I think it's um, a great help, it's brilliant. That system is being studied by police forces around the UK and as far afield as Hong Kong. The Home Office is just beginning work on a similar system, so digital fingerprinting looks set to become a central part of police efforts to solve crime.